Okay. Now, the next question that we are trying to answer is how should one use the time that they have to prepare for gate? You may have classes at your disposal, you may have video lectures at your disposal, you may have study material at your disposal or you may have tests. All of these things are nothing but tools to prepare. The most important thing as far as preparation is concerned is a preparation plan. Okay. So let me help you understand what are the components of the plan and how you should really go about preparing for GATE. The first and the most important thing that you need to understand about GATE is GATE does not test something difficult. GATE is not a difficult exam. It is an examination of concepts, it's an examination of fundamentals and it also tests you on how to apply these fundamentals. So if your concepts are not strong, you will not be able to crack gate. Now, what do you mean by making your concepts strong? A lot of people think that it is knowing your formula. Knowing your formula is just a small component of your concepts being strong. I may know a formula. I will therefore know that in this kind of a situation, I need to apply this formula. But what if I were to change the situation or the condition? Then you should know how to accordingly change the formula. For that, you need to understand the concept behind the formula, the theory behind the formula. So, I make gate preparation as a four point plan. The first is get to know the theory. The second is make your notes. The third is importance of tests. And the last and the most important part is keep on fine tuning your preparation. Let me quickly explain to you these four points so that then you can get on with your preparation for gate. Theory. So as I mentioned to you that a lot of people think if I have a formula list, all that I need to do is mug up the formula list and I am ready to start attacking questions. That is not the way. Okay. There is importance of theory. This theory should ideally be learned not necessarily from short books or books which are just about so, so thick as far as gate preparation is concerned. These needs to come from good quality books. The problem is, if you start lining up your good quality books, what you have been using in engineering as the standard author's books, then each of those subjects combined, it is then going to become such a large volume of material and it is not possible to read so much, which is where the advantage of good quality study material. Make sure whichever material that you are using is not only formulas, it has a decent amount of notes, not notes in crisp points. It has sufficient theory. Career Avenues, we make material where we pretty much cover the entire theory, whatever is required for gate. And we also tell the students that if you have started preparing and in some places you find the theory limiting, then you may refer to a standard college or a standard author's book. Till then, you don't require anything else other than the study material that we are issuing to you. Now, sit with my theory material, start reading it and make your own notes. Please do not rely on somebody else's notes. Please do not rely on ready books which are available or formulas. Try to make your own notes. When you try to make your notes, you are going to remember it much better. After you have made your notes for any topic, for any subject, then you may compare it with somebody else's notes to see if you have missed out something useful and important and then complete those notes. So the big thing that I am telling you is from your theory, make your own notes. Now let's say you are studying a particular subject, thermodynamics or structural analysis or analog. Whatever subject it may be, once you have studied a subject, don't immediately move on to the next subject. A lot of people think, first let me master theory, tests are to be done once you have completed the entire theory. There is nothing called as completing the entire theory. Maybe even if you to go for 4 months, 6 months, 8 months, 12 months, you are not going to be able to complete your theory. It is very very important to start testing what you have learned in an actual exam environment. So, you have done a subject, now immediately take a couple of tests on that particular subject today. Yeah? 
Once you have done these tests, analyze those tests. So what do you do? The first thing is take tests, analyze those tests. While you are analyzing those tests, you will learn a lot more things which are not there in your notes. And therefore, there are additional points that you can put into your notes. Study, take a couple of tests, add more points to your notes. Now, your first round of preparation for a subject is done. Go and learn another subject, do the same thing. Go and learn the third subject, do the same thing. Stop. Again, quickly revise from your notes the first subject that you have learned and then maybe take one more test to see how much of it you still remember because it is the normal practice of people that they learn something and over a period of time if they do not keep in touch with that subject they forget it so it's very very important that you keep in touch with the subject so if you're spending some time learning subject one learning subject two learning subject three don't go on to four five six come back for some time relearn subject one relearn subject two quickly much shorter time again take some tests and every time you take a test you may get some more inputs which will go into your notes after this you can go on to your subject four subject five again try and take something from subject one something from subject two every time you're coming back you're going to take less and less time to revisit that particular subject the analysis is the most important thing. So these tests, what you are taking are what we call as topic based tests or section tests. These are normally short tests, 45 minutes, 1 hour test, 15, 20 questions, just to give an understanding of how well you know a particular subject. Once you have taken these tests, keep on going to the next subject and the next subject and so on. In the last three to four months of your gate, you need to also start looking at mocks. Now again, please don't wait for mocks until you have finished all the 10 subjects or 12 subjects that you have in your branch of engineering. Maybe you once you have done seven or eight subjects, you are still in the month of October. Don't wait for the other three, four subjects. They will go on till the end of December. It is one thing to know the subjects inside out. It's another thing to demonstrate them in an examination. Exam practice is very, very important. So what you need to do is start taking mocks at least a few months before your actual gate. My suggestion, at least by October and by November, you should have taken three to four mocks so that you have an understanding of where you stand, what happens in a three hour test to you, how are three hour tests to be taken, and you can then fine tune your preparation when you're again going back for your revision. We have had situations many a times when we know that a student has the necessary capability but he has not taken the entire series of tests that we have offered to the student. Suppose if I were to give you 15 tests, there is a reason I am giving you 15 tests because I think they are required for you to prepare for gate. If you are only going to be using 5 of them, it means that you haven't used your gate preparation material which has been there at your uh, for you effectively. So ensure that you start your mocks early and in the last one, one and a half months, you are taking a sufficient number of tests continuously. Every week you are taking a mock or two mocks to see how you are performing in a three hour situation. So to me, the entire preparation strategy is start from theory, make your own notes, keep adding to your own notes by looking at notes from other places as well as continuously taking tests and learning more and more. Keep repeating this cycle pretty frequently so that you are coming back to do revision for any subject that you are learning and taking the section test. And then the last part, fine tune your strategy by taking tests, the mock exams, at least two to three months before your actual gate examination. Make sure you complete answering all the tests that have been provided to you on an online format. Thank you.